Emma is about the journey of a woman um, into uh, womanhood, uh, someone who uh, is isolated in her world and has everything on a plate. And she realizes that uh, she can't go on like that anymore through the mistakes that she makes when she hurts people uh, and, um, and, and true love, finding true love. He's uh, someone from a neighboring community uh, who is uh, seemingly suited to Emma, so everyone says, but in truth, they couldn't be more opposite. They're actually very similar, and that would be the reason that they, they wouldn't work. Anya's amazing, um, really beautiful actress, someone who I've, you know, all of these guys actually, they got a film out, I'll probably go watch it, probably because of them, but also the directors that they work with. Um, uh, and that was one of the reasons, one of the, the main attractions of, of, from Autumn, the, the cast that she was putting together. Uh, Anya's incredible, she's always alive and open and no ego, wants to, wants to find the right, Thing to give to the director. Autumn really was uh, was was uh, brilliant in f in finding and really honing in on the boundaries of the period and the time uh, for us to then break um, and find the humour within that. And what I found with Frank, because he's someone who has everything, has all the money, has. Uh, you know, the, the, the life almost, you know, Knightley's jealous of him. And, uh, what I would then try to do is push those boundaries even more, which was a fun game to play. Uh, someone who can't really be told no. Um, and also to play that with Autumn as well was quite fun, uh, to see how far I could keep pushing it and how far she'd let me. I'm a big fan of his, his, his stuff. I saw him on stage a few times and in, in Beast. Uh, and, uh, again, a very giving actor. I think this film's about love, and if you love a love story, uh, like I do, then uh, you're going to be into it. Uh, it's also um, uh, a flip on uh, the traditional sense of making a, a Jane Austen novel into a movie. The thing that's so brilliant about Autumn, there's so many things, but visually, this doesn't feel like a, a traditional English, British, quintessentially British film. It's got a, a, a slightly, I want to say, like a rock and roll Disney twist on it, in a sense, or it's like a sweet shop sense, uh, sweet, sweet shop twist. Um, and uh, if you want to be transported into that time, it, it's all there for you. This is made for the, the big screen. Most movies are made for the big screen. So if you, if you can, you should go and see it in the cinema. The thing that makes Jane Austen so relevant today is that all of, this, all of the stories are filled with the nuances and the feelings and the emotions and the journeys that we go on today. So uh, they're completely relatable, whether it's love or um, hate or a tragedy or a romance, we can relate to them and they're accessible, these people. What I like about this is actually I really judge Emma, uh, you know, and, and, and until I looked into it and, 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 and was non-judgmental, I, I really judged her. And, but actually, uh, she's just a young woman on a, the beginning of her journey trying to work out the world with the tools that she has. I mean, watching someone pick up some more tools. Meeting Autumn was, was sort of the, 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 the give for me um, and, and being a fan of her work. Uh, and then, then from there, I'll, you know, I'll play anything if, if someone wants me to be in their film, you know, because through Autumn, then you get Chris, who's an amazing DOP, and I'm a big fan of his stuff, and, and, and Alex is on board, and Maurice, and, you know, the team, and, uh, and Cave, and the, and the team is good. So, you know, the film is going to be interesting. I think it's interesting that she's um, not English. It's interesting that she's American, having a sort of outsider's look on it. And, and the way that she painted the picture was that she was going to paint this film, you know, and the way that it looks and, and, and the feeling of it and, and how it was going to be 
because it can feel absurd at times, but it was always uh, important to Autumn that it was grounded in truth and grounded in, um, in, in the rules and regulations of the time. Frank is a young man who's got this outlook, and this was the key for me, the outlook that everything is going to be all right. Maybe even better than all right. Everything is going to be great. So if his philosophy every single day when he wakes up is everything's going to be great, everything is going to be great for him. Once we're on set, there's a lady called Marie who is uh, an etiquette coach uh, who um, sort of guides us through uh, everything. And that's what's really uh, exciting about this, you know, touching on what you said earlier about uh, the costumes and, and, and the rules, what Autumn found important was really playing within the social structure and the, and the regulations and obliging to them. So then when something does go wrong, it's a thing. And there's comedy within that. What's fun about Frank is that he is her equal. He's not you know, bowing down to her at all. If anything, he provokes her in ways that the others wouldn't. She's an artist. Whether it's visual first or not, there's an energy to her work and you feel that energy every time. Um, so it doesn't feel like she's, a, it actually feels like it's her, like her 10th film. It's, she is so in command of set. She does it how she wants to do it and that, early on was very exciting for me.